Okay. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as promised, I've got all the PLT shit there. And I've also got a couple of um, boohoo bags that I wanted to get through. So tomorrow's my birthday and I'm turning 37. So I bought a load of stuff for myself, like clothes and bits and bobs. Just shut this door. As you all know, Nena's home, so I'm not gonna keep saying it. She's at home, she's gonna, hopefully she don't come in. But yeah, so I thought firstly, if I do the PLT haul today, then tomorrow's my birthday, it will be easier basically, because I can't do the PLT and my birthday and everything else, it's too much, yeah? So I just thought I will do the PLT today. <laughs> so we must get thumbnails. That one's a good one, that's fine. Okay, and now I'm gonna get into these. So, let me, actually, let me tell you about the one, the outfit. Let's start off with what I'm wearing today. So, this white body suit was from PLT. It is in a size 10. Everything I'm actually talking about today. Oh, I can see it looks a bit see, no, it's not. I don't know, it looks a little bit see-through. Hopefully it's not. But yes, anyway, it's a size 10 body suit. Racer back, blah, blah, blah. And, right. So, like always, let's just dash this shit on the floor and let's just go through. Okay, don't need that. So, I remember picking a couple of things, but I really don't remember everything I bought. So, let's just go for something random. I know this is a dress. Because it's my birthday, I'm going to keep on saying that. I wanted to get a perfect dress this time. Because last year, hmm, now I don't know if this... That's really nice actually. It's a it's the wrong material, man. I never thought about that. It's really pretty. It's like a peach colour. It is peach. But yeah, I'm gonna get into it one second and then we'll talk about it. <laughs> this dress is really nice. It's not the dress's problem, it's me. I like an idiot ordered this is because I, I say I've got the you know, well here's the dress for starters, I'll moan in a minute. Um, the dress is really nice, I really like it. The colour, oh god, why do I always do this? Right, sorry guys, I'm not wearing any shoes, but I have actually got some shoes. I did get some shoes, let's open this one, because I know my shoes are in here. So I also bought shoes. One second. So, let me just get these on. I will link this below, down below. I did actually get get these shoes out for they're just the clear perspect clear plastic heels with a strap on the ankle i'm not even going to put the straps on i'm just literally going to stick the shoe on just for wearing the shoe could i think i'm already gonna i'm not moaning <laughs> it's my fault i've picked i can see i really like this dress but i've picked the wrong size because i wanted extra space guys because I wanted extra space around my tummy area, I've gone and picked a 14 or a 12 to ensure, <laughs> oh God, as you can see, I'm not used to wearing flipping heels all the time. I'm always in trainers. Okay, anyway, we're not tying the straps up, but there's the, here's the dress, it's really nice, but I've made a mistake of actually picking it in a bigger size. So it's really loose here, it's just falling and all the ruching is all baggy, so it's not doing anything for me. Uh, yeah, and yeah, I'm wearing the wrong bra for it. But this is a really nice dress. I really like it. Should I? Tell me. Should I return this dress? Or should I get it in a smaller size so I can actually wear it? Tell me. What do you think, yeah? Um, right. Anyways, I don't know how I feel about that dress. Right, but anyway, let's open this bag as well because I don't know what I'm having here. Right, okay. So let's start with this pair of jeans. Oh, these jeans were really nice. Okay, these again, I think they were in a 10, a size 10. I really like this dress color, man. It's really pretty. You know what? I'm going to send it back. Okay, so this is the problem. I'm wearing a bra, which I shouldn't be wearing for starters, but um, it's kind of just all falling. If it was a bit tighter, just there, I think I would actually like this dress. Maybe I can stitch it. 
for all of you who did not know, I have a sewing machine so I can actually stitch. So I could actually just stitch it and make this fit me a bit better. So maybe I'll do that. So yeah, okay. Anyway, moving on. I'm gonna take these heels off because I've just realized as I've put the heels on, I'm no longer in frame no more. Right, okay. So I'm gonna keep those heels out and moving on to the jeans. Right. Now, these jeans again, they were like a baggy kind of straight cut jean. Yeah, but the, what I liked about these, which was quite different, was it has this double sort of strap thing across the front. Now I thought this will distract from my, my you know, situation. <laughs> so I thought a tight body top with this. And so actually saying that, I'm sure I did buy, what is this? Black leggings, leggings? I didn't buy no leggings. Oh God, okay, well, let's let's go with this one. Cause that's a nice white color I can see. I picked two or three bodysuits in white cause I like white. White and black are the two colors that I find that I just wear more. That's really pretty. Oh, I can't wait to get into this. So it's got like, I'll come a bit closer. It's like net. It's like a netty kind of stretchy net fabric built over that's gonna look nice that's gonna look nice i hope it looks nice <laughs> i'm gonna be upset if it doesn't and i'm gonna pair it with those jeans so let's see what what it looks like yeah oh no i've done it again with the ugly jeans so i really like the top but i don't know what's going on down there i'm wearing the wrong bra i don't know if you can see that but you can see where i've pulled it to Maybe it's not tight enough, I'll have to just see, but it's, it is gathering. Can you see that? I don't know if you lot can see it, but it's definitely gathering there. You know where you've clasped it together. But this fits me perfectly, so maybe it's, maybe it's the bra that I'm wearing with it or whatever. But this is the nicest part about the jeans that I was excited for. Right? So I do like that part, but... Uh, why? Why do they always have this? Like, what am I gonna put in here that I need that much space? Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Again, I'm not sure if it's the style of the trousers that I'm picking and then I don't know how to style them. But yeah, this ain't gonna work, man. But they're really nice though. They are really, really nice. I just don't like the fact that they're straight cut and they're making all this horrible gathering here. So again, yeah, I don't think I really like these jeans. These might have to go back. They make me look fatter. <laughs> I was trying to get the snatched in waist. It kind of worked opposite for me. So yeah, maybe not. The top is nice though. I really like the top. I'm, again, I'm wearing the wrong bra. I'm just wearing my regular t-shirt bra with it. But this top is really nice. I think it would work with just like, um, what is it called, strapless bra or something. But I don't know. Because this fabric is so see-through on the top. You can see the pleating and everything underneath going on. So. Yeah, anyway, let's get, oh, let's, let's get into another outfit first. I'm gonna stop saying outfit. Right, this was something that is different for me. It is a white dress. I've got loads of dresses and they're usually white. I like white dresses. But this is kind of like a, a shirt dress. So let, let me show you one minute. And anything I, oh, this feels really different from what I thought. It's really nice. I don't know if you can see that, guys. It's really pretty. It's off the shoulder. It looks too big for me. I didn't realize it was like a shirt, actual shirt material. So this is actually really nice. And I've got a feeling this is gonna actually be very baggy on me. Oh, what size did I pick? Oh, it's a size 10. Wait there, it might fit me. Wait there one sec. Okay. Just gave myself a double chin there. Whew. I got stuck in this dress. <laughs> I'm just trying to put it on, but I really like it. Um, I don't know where the hell I would wear this dress, like literally. It's one of those really smart. Is this see-through? Oh my god, can you see my underwear? Okay, maybe you can see my underwear and some jiggly bits. You'll have to just look past that. You know what I mean? There's something I can do about that. Yeah, I think it's see-through. <sighs> Don't look at my underwear. <laughs> I think it might be see-through, but I really like it. I don't know. I don't, I can't see. This is another stupid thing. 
I've done it again where I've come downstairs. I wonder if it's a see through or not. The bra bit looks see through, so I'm pretty sure I've just blushed my underwear. But either way, I really like this. If this fits nice, over here, it's got sort of like rubber to hold it in place. But you don't, this ain't gonna go anywhere anyway. Like I said, it is like a shirt fabric. I thought it was a stretch. But I really like this. I don't know where I could wear it with and how I could wear it, but I think this is really nice. This is just really pretty. So yes, yes to this, I like it. It messed my hair up trying to get into it, but I do like this one. So this was a size 10. Um, prices are down below in the description bar because I can't remember all the prices. I don't know if it would be in here. White Bardo blazer dress, uh, doo -doo -doo, size 10. And yeah, they have no prices. Great, thank you. Thanks for that. Anyway, prices, everything down below. All right, let's get out of this and let's look around. <sighs> All right, let me show you some things that I bought because I didn't just only buy clothes. I did buy a lot of clothes. I should take this off now because I know I want to keep it. Should I take it off? Because I really like this. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping it. I like this dress. <sighs> now that I've taken my tag off, my sister will say, Ania, that dress looks stupid on you. Then I'm going to be like, fuck, I can't return it. I took the tag off. Anyway, I like it. I think it's quite cute. I think I really, with no bra, obviously. Let's lose the bra, man. Right, no bra. That looks really pretty. I hate that tattoo. Eventually, we're gonna cover it up with something. You lot are gonna come with me. We're gonna do a cover up. I've got two cover ups to do, but we're not gonna talk about it now. <laughs> anyway, so like I said, I ordered a few other things from Pretty Little Thing as well. As it is my birthday, I wanted to treat myself on a few things you know, other than just um, clothes. So the first thing I picked up was the Bye Bye Blemish. I think I did this last time as well, where I just ordered loads of stuff for blemishes. But this is a Blemish Vitamin C Dark Spot Brightening Lotion. Because obviously, I'm sure you girls can relate. If you're brown, um, hold on. sometimes when you get a spot, the pigmentation and everything, it just gets, and you know what, my nails, they're back to the normal crusty nails. I took those horrible nails off. If you watched my birthday preps video, in that video I had to put some ugly nails on. I just literally bite them off after the fucking pictures. But anyways, moving on. That was a blemish spot cream. And then what is this? Like I said, some of the stuff, I did so much shopping, guys, I completely forgot. And then to try to open all of this tomorrow and, you know, maybe my brother might come over. He said he might come over and uh, drop me some presents. <laughs> so I might be sitting. Okay, what is this? Morphe Sweet Peach and Sweetie Continuous Setting Mist. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot I bought that. Right, it's a bit hard to, I have to do this then lift my arms up to show you guys. But um, it's a Morphe Continuous Setting Spray in the fragrance sweet peach not sweet sweet uh, okay it's only this little so probably won't last me very long but let's try it it's continuous wait uh. fuck oh my god that smells so nice did that make me shiny no okay that smells really nice. It almost feels like it didn't do anything, but it was like a really nice soft mist. That was nice. I really like that. Peachy. Okay, anyway, we'll, moving on. Let's do something else now, yeah? So I showed you one. Aha, uh -huh. now this was the second choice of birthday dress. As you would have seen in my birthday preps, I wore a dress. It didn't fit me nicely. I was so unhappy, but I still took pictures and still wore it. Now my sister's gonna take it. And the bitch will wear it better than me. But, what the fuck is this? Oh, you're fucking with me. No! Oh, here it is. No, it isn't. Oh, no, guys. Oh, that's so shit. How am I going to just show you a skirt? You know what? I thought this was a dress. Now I've realised it is not a dress. It's actually a skirt and what the girl was wearing with it was a top. Oh, that sucks. I'm going to have to send this back. But, yep. Yeah. 
It's a nice peach colored Chinese print, like a design, Chinese writing going on it, and nice like buildings, you know? But, um, oh, I really like this. Maybe I'm just gonna keep the skirt, soddy. Can you wear this type of skirt with a plain white bodysuit, I wonder? Either way, we're keeping it. I love it, so we're keeping this one. Um, I just have to figure out. Maybe I'll buy the top separately. So they must be selling the top and the bottom to get... Hi, Nanny. You okay, honey? Okay. What's the matter? Ugh. What? Ugh! She said my dress is ugh, you know. Okay, one second. Let me just... One second, guys. Sorry. Okay, guys. Nana has heard me downstairs and she is pissed off. So she doesn't want me to do this haul or whatever. So they're going to try to keep it a bit down. And um, yeah, so she's annoyed at me now. She's like making mess in the living room again. So I'm trying to speak a bit quietly. But yeah, unfortunately, this wasn't a dress. This was supposed to be dress option number two for my birthday. It actually was a skirt. So guys, when you're ordering off PLT and things like that, just be careful that, you know, because it looks like it was the whole dress, but actually, in fact, it was a two piece and they were just selling the skirt. So um, the top's probably there somewhere as well. So I'm gonna get online because I really like this and I, I really like it. So I'm gonna try to get the matching top and I'll probably show you on another day, yeah? So moving on, get that out of the way. Now let me put something nice and, all right. This, I already know what it is because I wanna get out of this dress now, yeah? She goes, ugh, to my dress. I'm like, excuse me, like, you know what I mean? But anyway, I've got a pair of trackies, joggers, yeah? Oh yeah, and I apologise, in the last video, how many times did I say joggers, 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 when I actually meant trainers, trainers, trainers. But anyway, this is the grey joggers, and I'm sure with it, I've paired a grey bodysuit, yeah. I'm sure this is the wide v-neck grey bodysuit. It looks so good on the model. So obviously I thought I'll get it for myself. So let's get into it and see if it looks good, yeah? Right, this is actually really cute. I like this. So, just a pair of leggings, and they've got the pretty little thing logo down the leg, and a pair of, that like just a t-shirt, sorry. These leggings are super, super soft. So actually, I could see myself wearing these. I don't actually wear leggings to sleep. This is not what I normally wear. So this is actually quite comfortable. Could get used to wearing leggings, actually. But they're not too bad. Um, I like them. They're really soft, really soft. One thing I don't like is the t-shirt is so um, short. So yeah, like, it's really short, do you know what I mean? Like, not that I'm gonna walk around like that, but I'm just saying <laughs> it's quite short. I like, like t-shirts to fit at least over the bum. But these are comfortable. No complaints here, I like this. So, I found one more stuff. Okay, this is nice. Um, I like this top. I've paired it with these bottoms just because it's the only thing I've got, got downstairs right now. Uh, but yeah, I really like this. Uh, this is really nice, this top. This is how the other the, the other grey one should have fit me nice and tight. And they've got this sort of section. Sorry guys, I just shoved my bra down there. <laughs> I want to take it off. But yeah, that is really nice with the right bra. That's going to look really pretty. I'm just lazy, I'm sorry. Yeah, I like that. That's really nice. I think with a pair of jeans, it's gonna look better, not with this. Anyways, moving on. I've got one more. Obviously, someone has to kill me. Stop. Okay. Let's see what this is. I've got a feeling this is another white bodysuit. What a surprise. Um, Oh, that's the, the wrong part, is this way. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's quickly see what this is. Oh, so this is just a regular racer back. Let me put it on with this and I'll show you. Love, love this. Shit, I nearly slipped over the bag. Love this. Just a regular racer back, vest top. Um, yeah, I like it. Obviously, I'm not wearing the right bra. Uh, slightly, slightly see-through, but that doesn't really bother me. I'm not really bothered about that. So, yeah. Nice, very nice. <laughs> I'm always happy with the basics. Anyway, with this, with that night suit, I'm so unorganized. 
with that night suit i also bought this you know the stupid thing is yeah i don't wear these i really don't wear them so i don't know why i got them but it was just looking cute with the outfit so i just thought okay i'll get it why not but they're actually quite good look they they i don't know if you can see they're not like normal eye masks they're cupped so if you're wearing lashes your lashes ain't getting disturbed let's see what it feels like right well not good because i can see you from there but one minute it's probably because my nose is so big hmm i can still see from here sorry guys oh we're having a lot of disturbances right now so anyway what was it was the last thing i was talking about let's just open something here um I can hear screaming and shouting and fucking fireworks. Normally it's quiet around here. There's only like three houses. Someone's being fucking noisy today. One minute, let me check. Wait. God knows. And I've also ordered some food as well. So anyway, moving on here guys, because Nana's getting irritated with me. And I never get to do a haul without you know getting disturbances. So let me just sort my hair out. Okay. The next thing I bought was some eyelashes. I don't wear eyelashes, um, and I really want to, but I think these two I'm gonna practice with. So I'm just scared of sticking eyelashes on myself. Obviously I'm a makeup artist, so I always do other people's eyelashes. I just can't do my own. I've got a feeling I've bought the same one. No, yeah, they're both sinful lashes in Envy, and they are, can you see him? I don't know if you can see him. Yeah, well, those are the ones I've bought. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. Because they're not that wide, so they're only small. They've got quite a small band, and I'm assuming you'd stick them more on the end rather than, you know, close. So I think I'll be able to apply these. That's what I'm trying to say, yeah? Um, okay, so yeah, like, oh yeah, we were doing this silly eye mask, but actually it's quite a good eye mask for girls who actually have eyelashes, because if you can see, it's like a bra, it kind of like cups your eyes, <laughs> so it's quite good, I suppose, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Okay, let's move on to something else, Um I have a few little bits and bobs here that I picked up as well, okay, let's go straight into this colourful thing. Because I do not know what it is. And this is, come on, focus, just focus. God's sake. Yeah. What is this? Oh, that looks so nice. Oh, yeah, I remember this. This is the salted caramel uh, bath slab. It's a, it's a bath bomb, but it's actually a bath slab. Check that out. Can you see all those colours on there, guys? Oh, my God. Let's open it. This is going to be my tomorrow's bath. Oh, sick. Yeah, oh my gosh, that smells so nice. Would you use it all in one go? It's just a mass, it is what it is, it's a massive brick. Just little, like, oh come on man. This stupid camera, why does it never focus there? See, look at the depth and the colour of that, compared to what it was showing first. Yo, that is so nice. It's literally just a slab of the... Uh, um, a bath bomb basically this is sick and it's vegan so I, it's you know just if anybody wants to know it's vegan friendly vegan vegan I don't know what that even means so you know okay moving on I can see another skincare product oh yeah bye bye blemishes so this is the vitamin C exfoliating gel I'm sure it's a uh, facial wash gel exfoliating gel yeah so it's an ex it exfoliating gel so yes it is like a facial wash but it exfoliates also so i'm hoping it's a chemical exfoliator rather than manual and yes it is because there's no beads nothing in there so yes i'll be washing my face with this today and then trying this on any dark spots so these are both the blemish blemish stuff yeah and okay this i can already tell you i shouldn't be opening because if nena sees this she's gonna get rid of them but i'm gonna speed this up guys because i've got a few things from misguided there as well so i thought if i show you my little bits and bobs in between um two beauty blenders 
not much to say about that i just needed some beauty blenders so those are those and i can see it looks like these are brow pencils makeup obsession brow pencils brow girls i won't obviously do the whole oh okay so these are the brow obsession oh they, that's quite a heavy pencil actually yo i'm quite impressed with that it's really heavy that feels like a really good quite wow okay maybe i will show you this the nib of that is really on point and sharp and this pen actually feels really um heavy it actually feels really heavy for the i like this right well hopefully it'll make my brows better <laughs> so and i bought two of those so i'm not going to open both i just thought i'd open one and show you and now last thing okay that's the spray so yes wow got a lot of mess on the floor i really like these joggers and i really like this vest top this is just this is what i usually wear anyway on a daily basis oh i have one more thing some pretty little things oh actually i have two more things oh, this is like my birthday today i'm getting all the surprises because i'm so dopey i forget what i bought so oh i remember what this is one minute okay right oh yes Maybe I should have, shouldn't have opened this right now, but this is going to be for a photo shoot. This is a denim. I'm not going to put this on because this will ruin the photo shoot, yeah? So this is a denim bandeau. Is it a bandeau top? A boob tube? Strapless top? Uh, a corset. That's what it is. It's more like a denim corset, right? So just focus, bloody focus, your stupid camera. There. It's pink. It's denim. It's got zips on it. It's got these cool, you know, supposed to be like this. And then it's got a belt that goes around. But yeah, like I said, I'm not going to put this one on because this is actually for a photo shoot. So I don't want to ruin the photo shoot by putting that on and showing you guys. But it will be linked in the description bar below. So if anybody wants that, they can. The reason why I'm rushing to get these all open is because tomorrow's my birthday. So we'll open these as well, yeah? Tomorrow's my birthday and I want something nice to wear out of these for pictures. Thumbnail. So yeah, let's just sit on the floor. Actually, I can do that. I can sit on the floor over here in front of the door. So she comes in. Alright. So I'm just going to open everything out, guys. Okay. And throw everything on that side. This I already opened in the morning. Because I needed a body top to wear. And then I took it out of the PLT anyway. Oh my god, this is going to be a funny one. Let's get this out of the way first. Guys, I'm the dumbest person in the world. I thought this would be really cute. So I bought it. I regret it. It's a bright pink t-shirt. With these fucking pom-poms on the arms. Now, why I thought... You know, in my head I was thinking, oh, Instagram. This will make a nice cute picture for Instagram with the cute fluffy arms. I don't know what I was thinking. <sighs> Do I look nice? <laughs> yeah, literally. What is nice about this? Nothing. What was I thinking? See, sometimes I do random shit that you just wouldn't expect me to do. Why I thought this would look cute is because I thought, oh, you know, you could shoulder, picture. What about the rest of the top? It's not nice. This needs to go back. Even I wouldn't even make my, my daughter wear this. It's not even that cute to make my kid wear it. It's just horrendous. This is horrible. It makes me look like I have big bodybuilder arms. So yeah, <laughs> I already opened this earlier. That's why I know what this is. So I was like, no, no, we're not wearing that. Okay, and that was that. And then I tried these jeans on because I wanted to wear a pair of jeans today. But unfortunately, these were too big for me. For me, So misguided jeans are a little bit different sizes. These are a size 10. I got a size 10 by, I think it was misguided or boohoo last time and they fit me. Oh, this is boohoo, sorry. Sorry. Boohoo. <laughs> but these are too big on me. So a size 10... So I think an 8 would have just fit me perfectly. I bought the size 10 thinking I'm going to need the space. But actually the size 10 was a bit too big. So yeah, that was a bit, you know, I'm going to have to probably maybe most likely send those back. Let's, let's do something different now, yeah? 
racer back midi con dress oh actually let's do this one first because this is also a dress yeah i know this haul is going to probably be a long one i'm really sorry guys but it's my birthday and i went and bought myself loads of stuff um i really hope this fits me uh this is a size 12 and i bought some boots to go with this so i'll show you the boots as well before because it's such a nice color i can really tell if this fits me i'm gonna wear this a lot and then i did buy some boots to go with this now i have loads of boots but they're like pretty boots and you know the heels and stuff but these are a pair of biker boots so i really needed some uh are these the ones that i've ordered maybe they are maybe i'm gonna have to have a look but anyway these are what i got this is my take of the bike biker boots <laughs> anyways because the other ones had too many silver studs on them and things like that i'm not really a studded kind of girl but these i like actually i like them i, I can't let's get into the dress and put these on and then i'll tell you if i like them for real for real okay love the dress absolutely love the dress yeah and i did pick it up in a bigger size like i said where i think i've made the mistake because this dress is really hanging everywhere else like can you see that it's really hanging <sighs> but it fits everywhere else nicely so i'm gonna see if i can stitch this somewhere or do something to it to make it stay but otherwise i love it and the boots man Oh, for God's sake, I've got so much stuff on the floor. Unbelievable. <laughs> right, okay, and the boots, I really like them. I hope you lot can see them from there. But, um, because I'm not going to try to lift my leg up. That we did that before and, you know, we've established that I can't lift my leg that high. But yeah, the dress is really nice. I really like the dress. It's a bit gapy because I think, again, I'm a size 8 to 10 and I always pick 12s because I need the space around my tummy. Um, but this, I'm sure I can fix it somehow. It's a bit gapy. If I leaned over, you'd see everything. But this is really nice dress. And then the shoes, the, oh, see? See what I mean? See what I mean about, that's bad. <laughs> One second. And then the boots are really nice. I really like them. I really like them, actually. I might get a couple of others like this. And they're not that, um, they're not that high. So... Do you know what I mean? They're quite nice. I might actually get a few with the buckles and, you know, all of it now. Now that I know I like them, like the idea of them. All right. So, anyways, let me take the other shoe off. I'm walking around with one shoe on. I'm going to speed through these, guys. Anything I want to try on. Oh, God, that's another one. Same thing again. Size 12. And I can already tell the neck is going to gape just like this. <sighs> but if I take, if I go and get these in tens they might not fit me that nicely around this is shiny compared to this one so yeah i'm gonna have to sit and think about these if i like them enough or i'll have to send them back but those are from boohoo so i won't take any tags off because it's going to be impossible for me to figure out where's what from do you know what i mean anyway guys bear with me nearly there nearly there right then i bought oh now, I don't remember this being a halter neck dress, to be honest. Um, it is a size 12. Let's get into it. It's a chocolate brown size 12 halter neck dress. Let's see what it looks like. Love. Love the dress. Sorry, guys. I know I, I keep... I don't want to take the bra off because I'm just not that bothered about the bra. hope it doesn't bother you guys that much. But, yeah, this is the brown chocolate brown dress. This... I really like <clears throat> and all this crap but this dress I really like I really like it it fits me really nice and I think this dress can be dressed dressed up and dressed down a little bit you know what I mean like if I wore it with these boots let's show you actually if I wore it with these boots it would look more cash whereas if I put it on with those heels I could probably wear it out somewhere oh I really like this dress oh I really like this i can't wait to go and try this one somewhere hopefully my this doesn't stick out too much you know i could always put a belt around there you know something i have another bag thing one minute guys i forgot all about this 
But I bought the crossbody bag. You know how much I wanted this? Right. I don't know if I know how to wear it, but we're gonna try, all right? That's so nice. Oh my God, this is my favorite outfit. I need to go out somewhere. Quarantine needs to finish. <laughs> right, let's see where. Can I, how can I put this on? Does it go around your waist? Oh, right. Right. So you can put it around your waist if you wanna. And that is so cool. I really like that bag. Like really, and it goes with the boots really well. So yeah, good choice from me. I like that. This is probably the first thing that I picked that I do actually really like. The dress, the bag, and the boots. Perfect. Um, I've seen the girls wear it differently. I swear I've seen them wear it crossbody. I don't think I'm cool enough to wear it like that, but we're gonna try anyway. Hmm. I'm sure I've seen them do it like this. Wait there. How, how would you put it on? <laughs> I'll figure it out. Oh yeah, there you go. Like that, isn't it? I swear I've seen them wear it like this. If I haven't, correct me, yeah? But I'm sure, I'm sure it's... What the fuck is this supposed to be? That's cold. But either way, I really, really, really like this bag. I love the dress, I love the shoes. So if any, all else fails, I might just wear this for my birthday, not this. I mean, the dress. This is really nice, I really like it. It gives me, it's giving me figure. It's giving me like, I'm comfortable. Um, and the shoes are nice as well. Now, let's have a look at the last few things that I got. I already opened this. This is just an off the shoulder gray, size 12 bodysuit. Just a normal gray bodysuit. Can't try all of them on guys. We're gonna be here forever. All right, so we're not gonna do that. Whew. Plus, I'm really tired now. I have to save some energy for my birthday tomorrow. I've got more things to unbox tomorrow, but not clothes. So thank God we're not doing clothes tomorrow. Oh, okay. So this is the, uh, what is it called? One shoulder, off the shoulder, one shoulder uh, bodysuit. Hopefully it fits my body again. Actually, yeah, this one will definitely fit. So yes, happy. Hopefully anyway, I look at it and think this will fit and then it doesn't bloody fit me. But yep, yeah, that's the last bodysuit. Oh guys, we made it to the end. Hold on. There's one more bag there. Sitting there like, what about me, bitch? Okay, what is this? Huh? Oh. Oh, I remember this. Okay, and then I just picked up this cute, cute little top. It's got these, like, this frill on it with the little polka dots sort of thing. I don't know if you can see. There you go. But yeah, just a top. And this is not a bodysuit. This is just a regular top. Yeah, um, but I'm gonna stay in this because I really like it, so we're gonna stay in this. While I have a look on my floor and see if I haven't got anything else because I have, like I said, I bought so much stuff that I can't really remember. But those jeans were a bit disappointed. I really thought they would look nice on me. Anyways, guys, I've got one more thing to show you and then I will let you go and then I'll see you back tomorrow on my birthday. So anyway, this month's glossy box just came a little while ago. A nice zebra print. And because we're already doing unboxings, I thought I'll show you lot what came in this month's box. Okay, and I've already shown you lot loads of times about, I think I've shown you at least three times, three times or twice or three times about the glossy box. It's an online subscription box where you can, you know, you can, get loads of skincare everything all the products in this add up to the amount of like 50 quid i think and you get normally most of the time full size products in here um and it's a really good way of introducing yourself to new products and new brands that you haven't used before anyway moving on Paw multi soothing balm for natural uh this is a lips cheek a tint mm, okay then they give you a nice skin calming Dalmatian print mask. So, who is that? Okay. So, yep, I got a mask. I'll be definitely doing these things to myself today. 
and then the mud ma the mud masky oh this stuff is actually really good i had a serum from them the last time and i really liked it hair mask scalp treatment and miracle shampoo three in one mm, this is probably good for people with problematic scalps and hair and things like that um i'll probably give it a go I don't know if it's going to focus or not. And then last but not least, there is Wild Thing. Let me see who that is. I think that's my... Oh, one second, guys. One second. Yeah, that ends my haul, guys, anyway. So this is everything I bought for myself for my birthday from Pretty Little Thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video. Now, please don't forget... My birthday is in the morning, so don't go nowhere, yeah? And I'll see you in the morning, guys. Bye! Hey, guys. It is now... I haven't washed my face because I was too busy watching this movie called Ophelia. Ophelia? Uh, I think it's Ophelia, but it's spelt O-P. So it looks like it's spelt Ophelia, but it is Ophelia. Just a good movie. I got into that on Netflix. So, um, but anyway, it is now uh, 12 o'clock. Bloody focus. I hate this, you know, when it doesn't focus, it pisses me off. Anyway, believe me when I tell you, it's 12 o'clock and it is my birthday. Well, it's actually past 12 o'clock. It's 22 minutes past 12. So, that gives me an excuse to open my presents. Well, not all of them, but more, most of the time, one the night before Christmas and the night before my birthday I always have to open one present I'm sure people can relate you just can't wait now can you and I know I should wait but I was gonna go wash my face and stuff like that and then I thought oh I really wanted to try some of that skincare so obviously if it's gonna be something that I bought for myself it's gonna be skincare so anyway if anybody remembers last month's glossy box you get a um a what is it called a voucher in there the 20 pound the 20 percent voucher so i used it for my birthday so here is i don't know if you look and i have hid all my address but that's the rituals box i'm just trying to speak a bit quietly because nana's sleeping so if i turn this well, actually that's how it comes yeah everything that box so basically I used my voucher guys is what I'm trying to say to you guys yeah I used my voucher and I got all these goodies I quite, I quite like the box the way it looks it's very relaxing <laughs> yeah anyway these are the things oops these are the things that I bought I was dying to use these two perfumes that's why i wanted to but anyway let me tell you about the 20 percent discount first so the 20 percent discount some of these products like this was 19 or 20 pound the excuse me the rituals of secura that won't pick up because it's see-through but anyway the rituals of secura body wash it's i think it's a hold on it is a heavenly bath foam sorry and that was 20 quid or 15 quid or something like that but with the discount, I think I paid £11 something for it. So actually, guys, if you do have that voucher, yeah, keep it. It's actually really good because this whole order would have cost me about 100 and something pound. And it didn't. So it was cheaper than that. But these two other perfumes that I've got. And then I bought myself, if it will bloody focus. I hate this camera, man. I'm fucking getting sick of it. Right. That is a body scrub. I'm dying to use these stuff. So I was about to get into the shower, wash my makeup, get ready for bed. Just had to watch the rest of that movie. Then I thought I want to open something. So I thought, you know what, fuck it, let's just open a present. Then I got this. This was my free gift, actually. This is the Rituals of Shakura Essential Foaming Shower Gel. So that was my free gift with the order. And then these guys, oh, I'm so excited. So basically, these are room room read dis, read dif, dispenser diffusers yeah diffusers that's it i'm just gonna show you okay so there is the bottle this is why i bought it because it just looks so posh it looks so proper let me just pause that i've got 
I've got something playing in the background. It's a it's a horror movie, 1920. Um, it's an Indian horror movie. If you lot are into your horror movies, then yeah, it's an Indian horror movie. Anyway, where was I? Where was I? Where was I? There. And then these reeds go into it. But, oh, they're just so cool. I would like want to smell it, but yeah, I'll do that. This is going to go, this one, because it's nice and white and it matches the aesthetic of my makeup room. This is going to go in the makeup room. And this one is Savage Gardens. I don't know what that smells like, but it's supposed to be cardamom. I like drinking cardamom, so maybe I'll like the smell of it. And then I bought this one, which is the same thing, but in black. I'll quickly show you guys, but I'm not going to open both of them. Actually, yeah, I'm not going to open both of them anyway, because I'm only going to use the one. Oh. So that one has... It just looks so bloody posh. I think they just look so proper. They just look so pleasing. The way they looked in the advertise, like the, the advertisement, like in the pictures as well, looked really good. So I got myself one in black, and this was in the private collection. I don't know. Yeah, this was Precious Amber, and the other one was Savage Garden. So this is more of a garden fragrance. Pop a glass bottles with the reeds there. So I'm gonna put the white one in my makeup room and keep this one as backup. And then I bought the body wash, which I showed you a lot. No, the bath foam. And then this is one of the little box collections. Let's have a look at that. Okay, I'll put all those things back in there. I want to open them. The main thing why I wanted this to open it was for the body scrub and for this perfume, the pink one. The amount of times, right, I think it looks better in there because you can see the colours. The amount of times... I've smelt just that little pink bottle. It's so nice. And that blue one right up my alley. They both smell fresh. Um, let's open it now, yeah? Let's put you lot down here. No, actually, shall I face you lot to me? Wait. Okay. Just stay there for a second. Okay. This is bloody... Okay, that seal was good oh gosh that smells so good oh my god that smells so good that smells so fresh you know what i regret not buying the large sizes now because i thought if i don't like the fragrance i read the little notes where it tells you what the fragrance is about what the base notes are and all that shit so i read it oh that smells so good that smells so sophisticated and ladylike. I smell like a lady. <laughs> Shh, quiet. And then the second one is this one, which is the blue one. Let me put you lot up here and position you upwards. That's better. That's better. If I just sit like this, then you lot can see me better. Just for two seconds to stay with me. Because it is my birthday right now, I was born at 3 o'clock in the morning, so technically, in another two hours, I was born, and my mummy was very proud. <laughs> so anyway, I've talked some rubbish, don't I? Okay, and then this one, if these are nice here, yeah, guys, then I'm going to buy more. Is that better? Okay. Because I've mixed the fragrances. Oh, that's nice as well. This one smells more fresh. Yeah, more fresh. Like, it's nice though. I like it. I like you a lot. Okay, so this one, yes, I like. Very nice. But I think this pink one, it's just something about the smell. It's really nice. It's so nice. I really like it. Okay. Happy. Happy. Okay. Now let me turn you over. Wait there. Let me show you what else I got. Okay. I'm sorry if I flashed my foot at you again, guys. Okay. Then I got this, which is a happiness can be found in the smallest things. Okay. And this is, let me read it. The rituals of Secura. 
it is the four piece renewing their best selling their best selling stuff i'm sure there was a hand wash in this that's why i wanted it so i could put one of these nice posh boxes on it is very nice so what is this this is a celebrate each day yeah this is the hand wash so bougie in it i wanted a nice posh little hand wash on my in my main bathroom i'm gonna say to everybody don't fucking use that use the other soap this is for display only <laughs> typical indian in it don't touch that it's for display but yeah that's like a little mini hand wash it's just gonna look so cute in my bathroom they should have given you a little lotion i bet you want lotion there's a lotion in here i bet you mm, that's the magic touch body cream this is the softening rice scrub uh, and I think this is the one that they give you in the glossy box and that's what I've actually bought myself again because I really really like that body scrub and then the last thing that is in this box is oh shit another sensational foaming body wash I think I've just been had they gave me the same thing as a fucking free gift motherfuckers they just screwed me <laughs> But anyways guys, that is my whole selection for my birthday goodies, what I got for my birthday. I have got two more boxes downstairs. I bought one big order from, it wasn't a big order, it was just one boxed item from QVC. I normally top up on my skincare from QVC. They have all the good stuff there. So if you didn't know, QVC hook you up man. They got all the skincare, they've got some of the latest you know not latest but you know let me turn you over so yeah like i was saying qvc look my makeup's coming off my nose and my face <laughs> but anyway like i said qvc yeah they'll hook you up man they've got everything everything that you need skincare makeup they sell tarte cosmetics and a couple of other makeup brands they're not so good on their makeup brands but um their skincare on point and the fact that you can buy a hundred pounds worth of skincare and pay like monthly for like not month is it you can pay in four installments so you can break it down so you're not if you let's say you want to buy a collection from elemis elemis is expensive their skincare is brilliant though um but whenever i want to top up on my skincare from like you know elemis or deckly or then I hit up QVC because you can buy the selection of whatever you want but on four monthly payments and that breaks the cost down for everybody especially now I think you know it's, it's things like this is helpful anyway and um, they come in about four or five days and the items are really good and the best thing about it is if you think that the let's say the night cream or the eye cream or the body face moisturizer or whatever you've bought didn't work and you didn't like it and you weren't happy you can actually send it back so let's say if I use this tub of cream and I don't like it I cannot send this back to Rituals, they're going to tell me to fuck off. But if I send this back to QVC half opened and used, they will still take it back as long as it's in the time frame and you've got your receipts and whatever, they'll take it back. So, you know, QVC man, go check it out for skincare and stuff like that. That's where I get some of my skincare from, especially the, the bougier shit that's expensive. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go now. I've just paused that movie. I'm going to watch a scary Indian movie now. Um, recommend me some good horror movies guys I'm proper into my horror movies and like aliens and spaceships and things like that just recommend me good, good movies yeah and I'm gonna let you go now because I don't want Nana to hear me and wake up plus this, game, this film looks quite scary I'm looking at you and then I'm looking over here the fucking bitch is possessed so I'm gonna watch this and um, I'll see you lot in the morning yeah bye good morning guys sorry I look like shit Whoever gets like that, yeah, when you wake up on the morning of your birthday and you just feel so emotional. <laughs> a bitch, I cried like a bitch. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I think it's hormones now. At 37, when do you get menopause? Am I menopausing? Either way, I woke up this morning and I just feel really sad. 
I'm like, oh, it's the end of the world. I don't know why I feel like this, but yeah, I feel pretty, pretty shit today, man. And the weather is so shit. Guys, you don't understand. These sort of things only happen on my birthday. Believe me, it always rains on my birthday. Um, now people are going to say, no, it doesn't. You fucking lying bitch. <laughs> Weather's always nice in May. But for some reason, I just feel like it's just sad. I just feel bad today. I just feel like in a bad mood. I woke up on the wrong side of bed, I think. <laughs> That horror movie I watched last night, man, scared the shit out of me. Then I thought, okay, forget this one, it's too scary, let's switch this off and let's put something else on. So I started watching it. Um, that was stupid. It is just stupid, that's not scary. So yeah, guys, recommend me some good movies. I want some good movies for this week to watch to get rid of this depression face. I feel so sad, I feel so depressed. I don't know why. Maybe in two minutes I will come back looking better, but it doesn't look like it. Today I was supposed to dress up like a tart again and just look all nice for my birthday and just sit in my house, just take pictures, you know, just take a picture for the gram if anything, but I don't even think I have the energy for that today, guys. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking to you a lot. I'm going to try to go wash my face and fix up. Maybe I'll see you when I look better. I'll see you on the better side, <clears throat> on the prettier side, hopefully. Or I'm going to watch my movie and cry. Good morning everyone and welcome back. I don't know why I always say that. You were here anyway. You weren't supposed to go. It's the same video, remember? But anyways, good morning. Hmm. I feel better now. I washed my face. I sorted myself out and I've got something to wear. Although I'm not going to be wearing anything nice, I can't be bothered. I wanted to wear a nice dress and look pretty, but I can't be asked. I already did one picture with a dress, so I'm not bothered anymore. <laughs> so I picked my vest top, regular, and some pyjamas, cosies. And I'm going to get into my clothes and I'm going to chill. I'm going to wait for my nephew. He's supposed to be dropping me a cake today. And um, so I'm excited about that. I did say to them, don't drop me a whole cake. You lot have to take some slices. So, you know, so I'm not going to eat it all by myself, just in case you're thinking. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it really. Because we are all self-isolating and quarantining and in lockdown. You know, nobody can go anywhere or do anything, which is fine. I'm just going to sit and chill. I'm watching The Silence. It's boring. It's about some dinosaur animals that got escaped from a cage and they're biting everybody and killing everyone so yeah i'm watching that at the minute i'm gonna find i'm gonna have a look on sky cinema and see if there's anything good to watch and yeah and uh maybe in a little while we'll open some presents but i think i'm probably gonna order some indian food today from kabir's some really nice indian food and probably have a drink today if my brother comes to see me I don't know how it's going to, I don't know if he's going to come over and see me or if he's going to drop me a present and go. I'm not sure, but either way, because it's a bit hard to self-isolate when you're in the room together. So I don't think he's going to stop. But um, yeah, and my sister, uh, she, she um, sent me a present in the morning. I got that and that was really nice. And yeah, so I've just been chilling today, just really doing nothing. I know I'm so, so, so sorry, I'm so boring. But what else do you expect me to do? Everybody's going to be doing the same thing, which is nothing. So yeah, so that's it. If I do anything interesting, I've got some presents that I want to open, but I think I'm going to open them later on tonight. So we'll do that later. And uh, yeah, I'll probably see you when I get changed now. I'll get out of the night robe. <laughs> My younger sister's so cute. This is what she sent me. And some Maltesers. The Sleepy Body Lush Shower Gel and a Dream Cream for my lovely body. And then she sent me a book which I will be reading, My Side of the Mountain. Yeah, so I'm going to get into that probably later on tonight because I do read sometimes in the bathtub when I'm relaxing. I normally read like a chapter and then give up, but I'm going to read this definitely. And then she gave me a card. Sister, the friend who comes with a lifetime guarantee. Do you know what I'm saying? Standard. Uh, but this is really sweet. This really cheered me up. And I literally cried like a bitch when I got this. So this is why I was feeling sad in the morning. I'm really missing my brother and my sisters. And we're quite close. So yeah, this quarantine lockdown bullshit is killing me. It's killing us. It's killing, killing us, man. But anyways, 
on that note i thought i'll just put that in there and yeah i'm gonna go and get dressed now but anyways i miss you guys that's to my brother and sisters not you lot hey guys i'm so sorry <coughs> i didn't um sorry man i didn't actually uh vlog anything because there was nothing interesting going on but my cake has been dropped off to me and my brother came over dropped me some chocolates and a few bits and bobs and uh yeah i've just finished having some indian food and i've got to show you lot my cake actually let's go downstairs i'll show you my cake one minute this lighting is so bad oh yeah and i got changed see look outfit of the day birthday outfit sorry it's getting dark now i'm gonna go downstairs that is my birthday cake my birthday drink mm. hey guys i'm so sorry i feel tired and i feel a bit sick i ate too much cake did you see the pet cake it was so funny he had my picture on it <laughs> talk about overkill look in the first time in my whole life i managed to take such a nice picture yeah i'm gonna keep using the same picture <laughs> i don't give a fuck <laughs> it was the only nice one i took about 12 pictures and out of all the 12 pictures that was the nicest one but anyway my day is done my nephew came over dropped me cake my brother came over about five o'clock and dropped me a big massive bottle of gin um it was so yummy we put like these what are they what were they called juniper berries and some elderflower petals in there not petals i don't know whatever it was a jar of stuff that you put into your drink and then you put alcohol on it and then you drink it yeah that's the best explanation i can give you right now but it's uh just gone quarter past 12. i'm gonna watch the last house on the left this is the 2009 movie so yeah but anyway i had a lovely day guys such a such a nice day i thought i'll show you um quickly my last two presents remember i was telling you yesterday that was a horrible angle sorry guys i looked really nice it's so funny how you start off looking really nice during the day and then slowly slowly i think it's because i got drunk by myself <laughs> that i look like this <laughs> but either way i only drank a little bit i don't need to drink a lot to get drunk so you know that's that but anyways let me quickly show you a lot what i got yeah so here's my present <laughs> nicely wrapped up and i'm joking <laughs> one's from um yankee candle and then the other one was from qvc um and obviously i bought it with my own money they didn't give it to me i bought it myself i'm just saying i bought it for myself these are my presents yeah so from qvc i bought some skincare obviously bitch when you get to my age all you think about is skincare skincare and more skincare right um so yeah i bought double check first okay yes that is empty so i can probably show you the card it might be easier so this is the essentials oil skincare uh okay i think i said that all wrong hold on wait <sighs> okay it's just a four-piece collection all right it comes with the light day cream It comes with the oil now i used to use their no oh, when i'm trying to think about it now i can't even remember it will come to me eventually and then i think i'm sure this was the eye cream so a good eye this is a good eye cream literally not no shop for eye cream that ain't gonna work you know what i'm saying that shit's gonna work if it doesn't i'm gonna take my money back like i said qvc they hook you up man and then this is the gel duchi and bane what gel duchi and bane lavende fi oh it's a different language <laughs> oh god that's what i've had too much to drink okay it's just a body wash i'm sure it's a body wash yeah it's a good body wash that's 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 it basically i need to clean my body wash my face use a lot of eye cream you know um but yeah that cost me like 80 
80 something 80 90 pound so like i said that collection you know it's an expensive one like i won't just you know often go out and just buy really well i do actually i chat shit i buy a lot of skincare <laughs> i say that and then I, if you look back at how much money i've spent in the last month on skincare you'd think bitch you chat shit so yeah i do buy a lot of skincare but anyway finally got my hands on this okay maybe not this but it's a yankee candle let me open it I've got one over there. I bought two. This bloody order cost me £56, you know. I've got two big candles. They need to make these cheaper. I'm not joking, but who has money to just burn like that? I certainly don't. Unless you want to sponsor me, Yankee Candle. You know what I mean? Like, you candles are expensive, man. They're trying to ruin us. It's a candle. It should be cheaper. Or well, give this fragrance to me. <laughs> just literally. Anyway, this... This candle, you don't understand. This candle is the favourite. My favourite thing in the whole wide world. Dreamy summer nights. You know how it looks in the picture? All magical and shit. Bitch, that's how it smells. Like I said before, yeah. Oh my god, this fragrance. This, this one right here. This will be any Yankee candle. Anyone, anyone. You can't put this up against anyone for me. This is the best. This is the best one you have ever made. Well done, Yankee. Do not ever, ever discontinue this candle. Bitch, I'll come for you. Don't, don't do it. This candle is the best. And anyway, and I bought the little ones because obviously I bought a full one and then I bought the little mini tea light candles. So, I got myself those, you know. It's the little things that make you happy, you get me? Can't show you all the other stuff I bought. They're quite illegal, so can't show you any of those. But everything else, <laughs> everything else is, um, I'm just kidding, guys. Calm down. Don't call the police. It's okay. And yeah, so anything else is like what my sister got me, this book. So, I'm going to be reading it today. The uh, My Side of the Mountain. I'm going to read it and then I'll let you lot know how I got on with that. And yes, so I think I will be ending. Oh, my back. You know something? My back is killing me today. I'm sorry if you lot can see all the mess in the background. But um, I'm going to just light my candle. Sorry, guys. All you could see was my head there. I'm going to light my candles. I'm gonna pop him up here, and I'm gonna get ready. Oh yeah, my brother, he's so cute. Let me, let me, how can I do this? Let me spin you around one sec. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, let me show you something my brother made for me today. He made me a little wine glass, and in there he made a little garden. It's so cute. He's put glitter on the mud. And then these are live plants, they're real plants, by the way. So let's see how long I can make them live. And then he's put a little thing in there and it's got a Taurus bull head on it. And then who remembers those rings? That metal thing with the ganja leaf. Back in the day. See, we're olden days times, children. We have came from the cave, caveman times. <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah, but we used to wear them back in the day. So he still had one. And I have one somewhere too, so he gave it to me. And that's my Yankee candle. If my camera wants to focus, I've just lit my candle. And then these are all my, you're going to have to excuse all my mess, my house. Those are all the clothes, try on the boxes, rubbish. I'm sorry, guys. I've had time to clean. And then these are all my lovely cards from all my lovely family. This one's from my beautiful sister. This one's from my man. This one's from my lovely brother. And that one's from my mate, Cassie. And that's it, man. That's all my cards. Those are all the chocolates and shit that I ate earlier. I feel sick now. I'm not even joking. Let's turn you lot back around. Yes, but I feel sick now. I'm not even joking. I devoured nearly half a big chunk of that cake anyway. A big portion of that went straight into my belly. But anyways, guys, mm, I'm sure I've said everything I needed to say now anyways. My birthday is finished. I'm so tired. I'm still wearing my clothes. I have to get changed into my night clothes. And then I'm going to watch the house on the left. I'm going to wash my face and finally put on some good skincare. You don't understand how happy I am t that I've got this. This has just made my day. So yes, I don't know what I've done there. 
Um, I've pressed a button and something's happened on the screen. I don't know how to use this camera, so I'm just going to leave it and hope it goes away. But anyways, guys, I'm going to let you lot go here. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much if you actually watched um, till the end of the video. I hope you guys liked, enjoyed the haul and... Um, yeah, I'm going to let you lot go. I'm going to see you in the next one now. And just to let you lot know, like, um, uh, what's it called? The next video, we're doing a DIY, okay? So we're going to be doing a, uh, I won't tell you. I did tell you in one of the videos before. So if you've been watching my channel, you would know that I've mentioned it before. But I want to make something. So you lot are going to do a DIY with me. And that's what we're going to be doing next. So I'm going to get all my DIY crafting goodies out. And yeah, that's it. So I shall go now. And I will see you in the next one. Mm, please subscribe to my channel if you like crazy content like this and would like to see more from me. And I will see you in the next one. I think I said that four times already. So thank you for spending the day with me. She's come to shut the lights. That's how it is. Lights down, bitch. Lights out, bitch. So anyways, good night and bye, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. My friend dropped me this candle. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. My friend dropped me this candle. It's called Sunlight on Snow. It smells really nice. Another Yankee home inspiration. Thank you, Cassie. It smells really nice. Honestly, I'm so sorry, but... I can't, I can't just get over how pleasing this is. I'm gonna bathe myself for hours tomorrow. I've just put it all into one box, into my rituals box. And yeah, man, this is the ultimate gift box. Anyway, I'm gonna go now, bye-bye.